Hello, and welcome to whatever the show is called. I am your host, the Fat Mantis. Welcome to my special report. And the difference between a special report and an actual episode is an actual episode is when I actually edit things and put in clever, you know, clever images or jokes or whatever. And in this case, you're just going to get the chance to hear me rant and rave about whatever it is I feel like ranting and rave. Like I was your psycho ex complaining about an Amazon bill. Like st straight up, this is me just going for it, and I'm going ham, and I'm talking about DC. That's why DC Comics has been trending, and maybe you didn't click on it, maybe you don't know, maybe you're not into the comic scene, but apparently that company, one of the big two comic book creators, has been completely and utterly gutted. And they say, everyone's like, oh, don't worry, they actually do fake positivity. And they're like, oh, look. The brand is expanding. We, we get to see even more. You know, they have all this uh, explanation. They're, they, you know, they cut all these jobs. They fired all these editors and all these things. It's basically down to the studs. You know what I mean? They basically have five monkeys in there typing up comic books. And they got little kids with crayon sets drawing. Like, they're, like if you're... Basically, they're not going to hire back a lot of talent and a lot of artists. So even... even Whatever number the report is actually already fired. That's not to mention the people, the artists, because they're issue by issue type people unless they're like a superstar with a contract they don't have to hire you back and they're going to get less and less talent less comic books are being created as a result of what's going on here and we got to get into it right now so people are out of work and a lot of people in the comic industry are on the bread lines tomorrow morning so i will see you guys there you know uh, or you know let's get into it so this happens less than two weeks from you know, we are on the dawn of DC Fandom, which is an online convention for DC fans. Now, originally, I was going to actually put up an episode tonight, which was very positive about DC, talking about the Fandom, and how I was so excited and how I can't wait. However, the optics on that are bad, I'm super bitter, and who knows what kind of bitterness will carry into... This might even affect the amount of people who tune into Fandom. You know, I, here's what it is. At a certain point, I do understand... That they had to, they had to, if they were going to let, let people go, they had to let them go before fandom began. Because you can't have people advertising comics and other ideas that they plan on canceling later on down the road. You, you can't go to a panel with your favorite writer and then your writer gets fired or doesn't get rehired in order to do his next project that he was talking about. That would be a total betrayal of people. So they needed to do it before, but so close, it, it is going to just have a horrible, bitter sting. People... Oh, man, you don't even understand what's going on there. People, Twitter and the world is in panic mode, anyone who's hearing this. And you hear false numbers and false reports. Obviously, people are just saying all sorts of crazy things going on there. Um, and, you know, the biggest thing is I was wondering as fandom was approaching, I was like, how is Marvel going to ruin this for everybody? You do not know, or maybe you do, how hard it is being a DC fan and getting to see that, the, you know, when they hit the higher levels of media, you know, which is film, in my opinion, you know, the, the top tier, right? Because it's all other medias rolled, rolled into the telling story, telling story, you know, and you get to see them finally produced in there. And a lot of them are just such crap or they don't connect well or whatever, or some, you know, somebody went off the rails or some nonsense. And it is just so hard to deal with. You want to you wanna go home and you want to get in the fetal position and you just want to cry in your shower. You just want to cry, man. You want to cry. And finally, we were going to have something we could call our own. And I was like, how is it Marvel is going to swoop down like a bird of prey and snatch us up like our, our babies feels nice and just eat at us and just pick at us, man. It was, uh, but, and I was like, how is Marvel going to mess this up? They didn't have to because competing with DC is like, uh, you know, having your work, you know, your work competitor be someone with a terrible substance abuse problem. You could sabotage them. You could try to undermine them with the boss, or you could sit back and let them destroy themselves, which is a lot, in a lot of ways more fun to watch happen. Now, the main things that we have to understand, the first reports were that certain editors, important people that we all know, legends were being fired. First one, editor-in-chief Bob Harris. This dude's been with the company, he's been in the game, the comic book game, for a long, long time. And I think they just saw him and they, they wanted to get rid of him the way Eskimos get rid of their elderly. They take him out to the ice and they break the ice and the, uh, the person's on the thing and it just, they let the ice flow just take them all the way down. And they're like, maybe they'll starve. Maybe they'll freeze. Or maybe a waterfall will take them. Either way, I didn't see it, so it didn't happen. And that's basically what they did with him, right? 
The problem is, they got Jim Lee, who's the publisher. Now, Jim Lee, if you don't know Jim Lee, he is a legend. And although X-Men have always been popular as long as I have been alive on this planet, um, you know, their unpopular days were in the 60s. They were very not popular then. But, um, you know, since the new birth with the, the new team, they've always been popular. However, I will say, Jim Lee can be accredited as one of the few names of people who were able to bring them into the mainstream world. I would say they got the... You know, they got that animated series in the 90s because of successes that Jim Lee helped create with his art style. Now, um, he has a lot of credits, including writing credits. He's really a visual artist. He's not a writer. I would say that all the things that he wrote for for Image or Wildstorm could not be considered writing. Like, in any sense of any word. However, I will say he is a legend, though, and he needs to be respected. So, here's what happens. Originally, they said he was being fired. He's not being fired. You know why? He's got a fat-ass contract, man. He's got the good contract, man. He's got that non, you know, he's got that non-compete. He's got all these clauses and stuff. They can't do nothing to him. However, what they can do, and this is what happens when companies absorb it, they can add managers on top of you. So, like, he's the publisher one minute, and they change his title. They're like, you're chief creative officer, and you have to report to these five people. And he's like, what? And they're like, unfortunately, because he has a contract, they have to pay him, and they're like whatever. A couple of years of paying, overpaying this guy for a cre you know, a creative officer. However, and you know, because he's getting the money, he's apt to just take it, to not to not fight that or, or whatever. So a lot of people are like, "Why doesn't Marvel buy them up?" For starters, you can't buy a company that isn't for sale. That doesn't make any sense. Um, but other people are like, "Why doesn't Jim Lee just go to Marvel?" It, it makes no sense. He's an executive. He's making money, man. He's making a ton of money. You might as well just take the money and take the insult of being demoted. Uh, and anyways, anyway, I was very worried about him, but we don't know what's going on. All we know is less comics are being produced. This is bad for comics in general. Comics fans, we're going to have to put up with this concept. And unfortunately, this could eventually affect Marvel, the other, uh, the other member of the big two. And what we're seeing is just slowly the comic industry is uh, evaporating, is being destroyed. And, you know, uh, you know, the way the Zoomers have it. In the future, they're going to be watching comic book movies. They're going to be watching an X-Men movie. And they're not going to know what a comic book is. They're not going to have ever read a comic book. Or They're like, yeah, I think my great-grandfather knew what a comic book was. And they're going to watch that. And then they're going to watch the movie. And then they're going to tune into eSports for seven hours straight. And then they're going to drool on themselves. Because that's all Zoomers do. But, you know, straight up. Um, and you know, eSports, that's right. And I, I'm also hearing rumors that like they're going to actually take somebody who, you know, from eSports divisions and they're like they'll 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 make the comic industry better they'll fix it up and they'll zip line it the reason esports are doing well is not because some executive had a genius idea people's habits are just changing it's naturally just gravitating that way so th this person can't necessarily do that to comics but like these big companies they don't understand what they have and they also don't understand what they are destroying my hopes and my friggin dreams now so all of this i just have to say this Kevin Feige, you are a freaking evil genius because I know you're behind this. I know you destroyed. Somehow you incepted these people. I honestly believe he's so clever. He's so good at undermining DC. I bet you anything. He hired Leonardo DiCaprio-esque mind hackers to go into people's, you know, their, their heads while they're sleeping and give them, you know, incept them. So they have the idea of making bad business decisions like this or like the decision to make all the DC movies completely separate and and not connected so they can't possibly compete with Marvel's mega universe. It, it's clear that he does stuff like that. Or he's like a wizard or something. I, you know, if you've ever seen Supernatural, I think he made a deal with the Crossroads demon, you know, to, for success and power and fame, and then eventually it'll end up and they'll drag him back to hell or, or whatever. But I'm sure in some way that dude, that you know, he looks like a harmless nerd, is behind all of this. And, you know, I'm just so frustrated. I'm, like, frustrated and I'm angry and all this stuff. I don't know how I'm going to even enjoy DC fandom. I have to change my video because of these guys. And I just want to go into this guy, Jason, you know, Jason Keelars, you know, Mr. Big New CEO who, you know, he toppled everything. He changed the way everything is. You know, he's a, he's a firer. He, he uh, cleans house to places he goes. Basically, you know somebody has... Uh, small dick energy when they like to clean house because actually a real director or a real manager tries to work with people and they try to learn learn how to get successes out of the staff they already have other than ruining people's lives but he says i'm f instead of you're hired he says you're fired right and that, that's the guy who is and i want to go into his office and like that crazy panda bear i want to smash his desk i want to take his keyboard be like bam 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 and i want to just grab him and shake him and go you are not my father you don't tell me what to do with my comic books
I don't know, from the sound of it, he, he kind of sounds like my father. I don't know, maybe he is my father. And I think that is a good place to stop. So, um, tomorrow we'll find out really what it is, because this is a knee-jerk reaction time, which I always think is the best way to talk about your emotions. Don't ever let things cool off and then, you know, clear head or whatever. Just go with it, man. Just let it out. What do you guys think about what's going on here? Is the information wrong? Have we been updated? Are things changing? Do you think comic books should be smashed into dirt and garbage and treated the way they are? Um, maybe that wasn't the best question. Anyway, we're going to find out. I'm going to go do my thing tonight. Love you all. Peace and love. Subscribe, share, whatever. Ciao for now. What was that wrong button?